it's Rocky Tapscott here. I just wanted to thank you for opting in to receive my emails. And in this video, I'm going to show you a strategy that was applied to seminars, but it can be really easily applied to everything else. So I'll take you through the strategy first as it applies to seminar producers. And then I'll show you some other ways that you can use this in your business as well if you don't do seminars. I just wanted to quickly show you something that came across my desk today, and I've seen Bob Serling do this before. You may be on his list or you may not, but it made me remember something that I'd seen a while back about how he does this. So I'll just quickly go through the email with you and show you what he was saying, and then I'll show you how he does it, okay, just in case you haven't seen it. And I just wanted to make sure that the first time we ever communicated that I was able to give you some value. So let's look at this email. A well-known publisher offered an elite training program to his list and sold it out quickly. He then turned around and offered the same program to his list a second time and again sold it out quickly. But the second time he made $78,000 more profit for the same number of seats in the exact same program. How? By repositioning his program in a way that substantially increased the perceived value of the program. Once he made the minor changes I recommended to reposition his program, the increased profits came rolling in immediately. Here's how he describes it in his own words. And that's a great way to position a testimonial too. Here's how he described it in his own words. The excellent idea he gave me on positioning and pricing increased my profits on the program I offered by $78,000. Plus, since I offer this program several times a year, I keep collecting those additional profits over and over. Thank you. And it's Darren Hardy from Success Magazine. And then he asks, what can more effective product positioning do for your profits? If you'd like to position or reposition your product so it's far more profitable, I can help. Proper positioning can work wonders for almost any product or service, although there are always some products that it won't work for, and he goes on and makes an offer of how to get him to do it for you. But I wanted to show you what he did, and I remember reading this story from Darren Hardy. Darren was selling a three-day success seminar, and I think it was for $700 or $1,000 or something like that. It was a fairly low ticket, really, for what it was. And Bob told Darren to use the seminar as the starting point for a 12-month-long coaching program instead. That meant Darren was able to massively increase the amount he charged for the seminar and the 12-month coaching because the perceived value was so much higher. As Darren said in that case study testimonial, he increased his profit the first time he used it by $78,000. And because he held that event four times a year, he multiplied the profits he was making on that one event. So he had less customers to deal with, but he made a lot more money by rolling out the strategy to other events he held. So I hope you can see the benefits in this by repositioning it from just a three-day seminar, give people a 12-month coaching program. You can increase the price by three, four, five times. You're going to get less customers, but you're going to be able to help them a lot more, and you're going to be able to make a lot more money with less customers. And of course, if you have affiliates driving traffic for you, you can afford to pay them more money for sales at the seminar. Plus, you can sell all kinds of other products and services to the people who your affiliates generate for you who don't buy the big ticket item. So whether you choose to pay affiliates on those back-end products or not is up to you. But you're going to get a lot more affiliates promoting for you if you're selling a $5,000 product as opposed to a $1,000 product. And since everybody's not going to want to go to a $5,000 event, you're going to be able to sell them $7 front-end products and upsells and you can put them into sales funnels and all the things you can do in your business and pay the affiliates their share, or you can keep some of it for yourself. Just some of the people I've seen doing this, not necessarily with 12-month programs, although Eben did have one, was Eben Pagan, Frank Kern, Perry Marshall does it, Brendan Bouchard, Jeff Walker, of course, with his product launch formula, and Mike and Andy with their recent product launches. They've done similar things where they've had 8, 10, 12 weeks worth of coaching on the back end, which massively increases the perceived value of their products. So they start off with a launch, they have the coaching, and then they have a live event at the end. What Bob told Darren to do was to have the live event at the beginning and work backwards. So you can do it either way. So as you saw in that case study there, that was applied to seminars by Darren Hardy and other people as we discussed. But here are some other ways that you can use this same kind of strategy if you don't sell seminars. And let's face it, most of us don't do seminars. We sell all kinds of other products. So let's look at some ideas that you can use to implement a similar thing in your business. So I've just gone for a very mundane thing here. Let's say you sell an ebook or some kind of digital download product. Instead of just selling the book, you could quickly create a video walkthrough where you go through the book and share your personal insights and expand on the topics covered in the book because as you read things, you'll remember, hey, this applies here and this applies here and you can use personal anecdotes and case studies of real people using what you've shared in their businesses or in their lives. 
and you can show your readers how to apply what they're learning. You could include checklists of the steps involved so people can go through step one, step two, step three, and that will give them a feeling of accomplishment. Okay, I've done steps one, two, three. Once people start on a process, they're more likely to finish it because it opens a loop in their mind. They know that, hey, I've got this thing that's happening. That's why collections of things work so well. Once people start collecting something, they want to get every part of it. So if you can create a checklist and show people that they're actually making progress and moving from where they are to where they want to be, you're really going to help them. It's going to be incredibly valuable for them. Give them worksheets so they can record their activities. And when you write down something and you see it on the table in front of you, you're much more likely to be able to put the pieces together in your mind and take action. Give them case studies of how other people have used what you've taught them and implemented that in their lives. They can either be written case studies where people share their stories or you share their stories. Or another great thing to do is to do Google Hangouts or webinars or even audio interviews. And you get people on the line and you discuss how they use what you've taught them. And also a lot of people are doing this now with the higher ticket products is adding weekly or monthly coaching sessions where you answer your customers' questions live. Now this takes a fair bit of work. And accordingly, you're going to be able to price your product much higher than if it's just an ebook. And of course, you would include the recordings of all your previous members' Q&A sessions in the members area so that people can access them in the future. So as you can see, this can take an ebook from being a $10, $20, $30, $40 dollar product into a multiple thousand dollar product. And this is how you can massively increase the value of your products using some simple ideas. And a bonus strategy I've seen used by a lot of people is to include a private Facebook group where customers can interact with each other. Now, if your product is bad or it sucks or if you have bad reviews, you don't want to do this. You only want to do this with people if you have a great product or service. But this can be a fantastic opportunity to build and nurture a list of buyers in a group where they can interact with each other and with you and your team if you have one. And then you can sell them over and over again. As an example, I know one guy who has a group of about 3,000 people on Facebook. And every few days, he just releases a new piece of content to them. He answers some of their questions. Other people interact in the group and help answer questions for each other. And then once a week, he might make an offer. Or once every 10 days, he'll make an offer to that group. And because they're in love with him, they're passionate followers of this group, he makes a fortune every time he makes an offer for any kind of product. He has people coming to him, he joined ventures with them, he does a walkthrough video of the product and shows them how he's used it and just puts his affiliate link below the video and away he goes. He makes thousands and thousands of dollars every time he makes an offer. So that group can become a very valuable asset for you. Now, if you're selling a physical product or service on its own, you can bundle in a membership to a private members area where people can download all kinds of helpful information on ways to use the product. You could include videos of you or other people using the product or, or PDF reports, checklists, white papers, interviews with experts on the topic itself. So not necessarily them using the product, but them doing all kinds of other things that are related to your market. And this would become a very valuable resource for the people who buy your product. You could add it in as a bonus and it increases the perceived value of whatever it is, your vacuum cleaner, your whatever physical product you're selling. It increases the perceived value of what you're selling compared to everybody else. So it's your USP. Instead of just selling the vacuum cleaner, you're going to sell the vacuum cleaner with all kinds of bonuses and additions. And these can be made very inexpensively and that can be content from other people, other experts that you allow into that members area where they can promote their products. And you can also make an affiliate commission or you can do some kind of joint venture with experts where they sell their product into your members area and you get paid. You should also include unique ideas most people would never think of, ways to use the product. And you can also let them buy related products inside the members area that help them to enhance their user experience. And naturally, once you have a members area with all these members in there who are buying your products and services, you want to include a weekly email message that makes an exclusive offer to all of these customers to sell something else related to the market that you serve. So every week you can send out an email with a dedicated offer. Don't send out a newsletter every week. Send out a direct response email message every week with an exclusive offer. And it needs to be exclusive, something they can't just buy by going into your shop or someone else's store. And you'll make sales every week from that email message. And then include a monthly newsletter for members that gives them all kinds of helpful information, points them to resources inside the members area, and also makes offers. And again, you can create a members Facebook group where they can interact with each other. You can help them. You can give them personal tips. 
and this grip will become a very valuable asset for you. Something else you can do instead of just selling physical products and services on their own is to create a continuity program where customers get a discount for paying you monthly or annually up front for a regular service. I've seen this used for car washes, pizza delivery, restaurants, tree clipping, lawn mowing, landscaping and garden care, acne care with proactive and products like that, gifts and accessories with big brown box I think that's called, clothing, shoes, cosmetics and all kinds of other things. So how can you create a continuity program where people pay you every month for products or services they may or may not use in the future? Once you have these people in your continuity program, you're going to have their email address of course, so you want to make offers to all of these people every week related to the topic of their choice, the thing they've purchased, or the market they're interested in. And again, you have your monthly newsletter containing more information and all kinds of other offers. And as we said before, include a private Facebook group where your customers can interact with each other. Again, you'll have to have good products and services or they'll interact in a negative way. But if your products and services are great, you can build a very valuable asset with this group of people and you'll be able to sell to them over and over again. So who the hell am I? As I said before, I just wanted to say hi and to make sure that if we never meet or do business together, the only communication we ever had was valuable to you. I live in Australia and I help business owners grow their sales using email marketing in particular, but I also help create launch and sales funnels using survey funnel formula. And I have a range of campaigns that I license out to other businesses that have been proven to work in all kinds of businesses for generating sales, for reactivating customers, for all kinds of things that you can do with email marketing. If you'd like to contact me, just email me at rocky at emailalchemy.net or you can call me on Australia 0418 788 482. Again, I hope this video was helpful for you. And if you've got any questions, just reply to the email, send me an email or give me a call. Thanks for watching. Take care.